So it ain't going very well. So far now, the rope was tied onto the back of Ben's car on the 80. The rope has snapped. We managed to get the back rope back over here, but we still ain't got the magnet. So, I don't know. We're going to work out what the next option is. Hang on, I've got a look. Could we change it? What you got there, mate? A patino chip. A Northants blue one. Right, rub it like a lamp. <laughs> What, for a non-swimmer? Probably not a good idea, is it? I've got a D-lock and a metal ring. Ooh. Got the remains of a tin bath. Got a Nokia battery. I've got a tape measure. And a big hook. What you got, Aaron? I've got a gun, Nige. Silicon gun. <laughs> you're bending the rules, but you're right, it's got a trigger. What time is that, Aaron? Hammer time. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to. It's got a bracket with a pipe on it. I've got a very shiny ball. I've dropped me very shiny ball. Little magnetic ball. Still down there. Cipher lock. US for painting. Little rubber buttons on it. The hell's a cipher lock? That looks like a computer part. Half pen. <laughs> What's a cipher lock? <laughs> no, it's a cipher lock. Lots of little buttons. It's obviously a keypad entry thing, look. They're little rubber buttons. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. World War II, that. Yeah. That's going to be a check on Google Lock. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a bolt off a gate. <laughs> Yeah, gate bolt. So I've just found that, which is a cipher lock keypad. So these are actually switches, so buttons. So that's like an electronic keypad to get in somewhere or open something. But yeah, cipher lock. Another shoe with a hobnail in it. Hobnail shoe, that is. And a scaffold clamp.
And there's a pulley belt wheel, you see all the ribbon on it for the rib belt. Got a little light, some conduit. Sorry to get it happen. What you got, Dave? I think it's a CCTV box. Yes, yeah, very nice T-shirt you're wearing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, he, he normally dresses much brighter, but yeah. nah, not today. Look. Hot day today, like. Today. Hot day, get him some black. Look at that. Yeah. Over that or someone's got angry and thrown it out of their flat window. <laughs> <laughs> Another bit of that corrugated steel. <sighs> Bit of rubbish and a barbecue grill. Right. Gotta be Sonic. Sonic heavy though, I'll keep lifting it up, but got a wheel brace. And a brick titan. Oh and he got a knife. That's the first knife of the day, that is. No. I've got one of them. It's like a, a rollock, but oh. it's got a chain on it and it's got a bar on it. I suppose you could say that's rollocks. Yeah. Solid bar and a small spike. <sighs> Just a bit of cast iron. load of them, whatever they are, and a rake. <sighs> Another one of those things. Is it a milk crate? Yeah, I think so. H&G, is that Redding's? Redding! H and G. You know what that is, don't you? <laughs> it's a milk bottle. That's a it? kid's milk bottle one that the schools have. Oh, yeah, yeah, the little ones. Yeah, they ain't normal milk bottles. No, no, they're oh, not wide enough, yeah, are they? It's not they wide enough, is no. it? No. They are not yeah. wide enough. I remember them little milk bottles back in the day. Oh, yeah, I hated I that milk. Yeah, <laughs> Come and have your warm bottle of milk that we've left by the radiator all day. Oh, don't know. 
Hang on, let's make sure we can see. Make sure we, yeah, we can. What you got, Dave? Well, it looks like a milk bottle case, doesn't it? But they're little bottles. Do you think that's like they used to have in the schools when they used to poison I you with warm right. milk? Yeah, I think you're right, mate. That was so bad, that warm milk that they made us have, <laughs> that my brother wrote me a note and signed it for my dad saying he no longer wants to have the milk because my dad thought I needed it. But that is, yeah. that's pretty awesome. It's a shame it's in such it bad is. condition, but Charles, milk bottle plate, brilliant. Yeah. See if we can read it. Yeah, there yeah. is a plate on it, but it's a bit, wait, we're going to let it dry and see if we can see what it says. Right, Ben, what do you got? A teapot. And how does it go? Teapot, short, spell. <laughs> Here's my hand. Look here. <laughs> he ain't had a drink. Oh, no, no, he ain't no, had no. a drink yet either. Oh, no. He got that out of his new oh, hip flask. Massive hip flask. It's about right for you then, isn't yeah, it? Right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, we've just found this. It's like a big RSJ, but on the other side of it, it's actually. Hang on a minute. Aaron's going to flip it over. It's like a, a big shelf, like a, well, it's like one of them box frames, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You need one hell of a wall to put it on. Oh my God, that is heavy. That's going to be fun. Oh, can you lift it up, Aaron, and see if you can just some... Check this out. Oh, is that moving? <laughs> Bear us one second, sorry. Yes! Got it. Right, drop the rope down and let this lady by. There we go. Whoa! Oh, what a star! <laughs> hey. Don't give up! There we go, that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> Never leave a good magnet behind. I won't leave oh. mine, that's for sure. <laughs> Thank you, babe. Yeah, thank you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, leave them there. Let me get the camera. I'm full of cripple now. Both down. magnets. <laughs> <laughs> when they're under tension, sometimes you get them under tension, just pulling it up, it just makes them move, doesn't it? Look at that. Oh, there's a big chunk out of that magnet, though. Yeah, it was anyway. Uh, was, uh, yeah, it's, it's, no, 76 now. <laughs> Right, I'm going to get that on camera. Seen that? Is that metal? Yeah, yeah that, I don't know how you're going to get that in your trailer. So does that mean now that we can throw back in that area? <laughs> Probably. So there we go, that man there, he weren't going to leave it. He got the winch out to save the wife's magnet. But meanwhile, he saved mine as well. So that means he broke me rope unintentionally. <laughs> so as you can see, there's Terry's magnet on there, and there's mine. Um, uh, that's why it got stuck. It went under it. Well, there we go, look. It actually went under there. And that's stuck, and that took the winch. Look that's that took one. Ben's car. As you see, it's absolutely twisted the hell out of the metal. But it's back. Just need to get some more rope. Miles, if you're watching, I need some more rope. Another 30 meters, but it's out, it's back. If you care about me at all, you should focus on your problems, not putting the blame on me. So I won't pick up your call, I don't want to talk about it, you know that we disagree. You, you always have to have the last word, don't you?
If you care about me at all, you should respect my boundaries. Don't come knocking on my door, cause it's scary. You must know after everything we've been through, this can't go on no more. So I've got an old bolt, and Aaron got a set of bolt croppers, and they actually work, so that would be really good for chopping up the shopping trolleys. And Ben got himself a crate as well. Not sure whether it's a milk crate or an oil crate. Oh, yeah, if you see him, it's a beer crate, but there we go, another crate. Action. Let's go have old clowns. Um, laptop charger. The um, Star Wars man's there. <laughs> right. A bit of drain pipe and a bit of wire. Right, so Aaron's got that. Apparently it's Star Wars, but we don't know his name, so if any of you lot do, let us know in the comments. I showed them. I did. I said they were yours. A bit of rubbing strip. Never put them down there, a bit of pipe. Bike. You stick the hook on something first. Bike. 
over there. Oh, there's the spot. Oh. I thought it was on the green right now. He moved his feet. I was standing on the red. And another bike. Yeah, you gone on it, I felt it. Really? Yeah. Oh. What are those? Right, well, I think we should get three people on it with uh, three magnets. I've got a fork. It's got one tooth longer than the other. And there's only three, so it's a three. <laughs> it's a pickle fork. Postbox? Oh, cool. Hey. An old car's door or something. Could be a blast door. Oh my Ooh. god! <sighs> Swap ropes for you. <laughs> Sorry. Not made, like, siding, don't it? Yeah, because aren't cast, are they? No, that's cast. Dave, bring your magnet. <sighs> that's corrugated. I got it, still. I got it. No, this is a bit corrugated as well. Oh, for God's sake. Let's get it stood up. He's deaf as a post. Either that or he can see what we've got and he don't want to know. We need... What's this thing about pulling it to... Could do, I suppose, couldn't we? Right. Oh, 
I've got something else on here. Ow! Ow. Sorry. I've got something else really heavy on here. Yeah. Is that the other end of it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. We need as many magnets as possible. Oh. Yeah. Let's get it lifted. Oh, this car goes straight. I'm trying to get one over the other side, over the front, <laughs> behind that lip. Oh, all oh Christ. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 it's heavy, it? <laughs> yeah, we don't need you in there now, mate. Oh. Hang on, hold it there. I'm trying to get underneath it. No, we need another magnet to go underneath it. Anything. I'm literally just holding the weight for the camera right. going off. Right. Okay. Oh. Jesus. Oh. There's your money shot for the day. Bloody heavy. Come on. God! <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> oh, it really likes that. <laughs> it really likes that. Now I need fluids. Oh. <laughs> you just want me to run that beer you walk for. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Go to the back. Ah! 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 You turn the camera a bit, Aaron. Bottom. So I've got myself a bulletproof vest for all my haters. Solid lump of cast iron. About five magnets in the end, as you can see. It's what, five foot of it? How long's your trailer? <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. So. That's about half inch. Half inch. Solid cast iron. There's a good colour quid in that bit. Yeah, now I've got to move it. Yeah. Oh. Find it, man. Yeah, you can just make it. I can't see one letter. Oh, can you move that box for a second? 
across from his chair. It's a bit stinky. And a hanging basket bracket. I got some keys. Now I've got a track explosive. Really? <laughs> I don't know where, but there's a trailer, but yeah, I've got a track explosive. Oh, we're getting a bit, a bit more around. There we go. You see better there now. But track explosive. Right. right. So we've got a barrel rim, and a barrel rim, and the bottom off a bucket. Dave had a scooter, look, a little three wheel you scooter. Earlier, you had the heel of a hog now, mate. Yeah. He's got some, who's got a soul? Cool, that's got a lot of metal work in it, that, hasn't it? Look at that, look at the dimples on that. Pretty weighty, though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Go on then, Aaron. Grab some stuff. And a barrel ring. And a barrel ring. And microwave door. Oh, we're cooking. Got a metal grate and just a bit of scrap. Come on, guard off the trailer. And a scaffold clamp and a bike lock. Drift this scaffold pole. Use that. Sorry. Good brake disc. And a jug. Well, it was. <laughs> oi, oi. <laughs> Box saddle and a big hinge. No. Bit cast iron drain pipe. And another bit. Fence pin. I'm assuming he can't get the trailer through. There's bollards breaking in there's steps. Right. Another barrel rim, a couple of scaffold clamps. Shame. Bit of pipe and a slash window weight. <laughs> I wonder what was happening there. I thought, hang on. <laughs> cool. That's a bit, of, bit of square pipe and a bit of flat plate. Another barrel rim and another barrel rim. That there's part of a saw and some bars and some more barrel rims. A bit of chain. Motorbike lock. Some random bits. Rusty dust. Right, bit of edge trimming. A scaffold pole. Every time I want the wind blows, it blows all the dust in my face. Another bit of drain pipe. Sweet pull on here, isn't it? Twisted bar. Another bit of twisted bar. <laughs> Keep getting loads of these little hammers. <laughs> Some sort of um, fixing bar. I don't know what it is, but we've got loads of them. Barrel rim, cast iron drain pipe. Look at him go. Look. Rah. Why didn't you do that earlier when we wanted it to come off? <laughs> bit of plate. Uh, another bit of plate. Scaffolding, clamp, and drain pipe. So Aaron found a hook with lead wrapped around it. Um, 
random bar, edging strip, got a bite lock, more edging strip, a security tag, and that strange thing, like a bracket with a ball on the end. Got a drawer insert, Dulux truck trade lid, another scaffold clamp, and a little pull handle thing with a chain on it. So I've just found this. It's an old lantern. Oh, looks like it's been pulled off the wall. I don't think it's a really old one. I think it is a modern day one because it's quite light weight. There's no glass, there's no top. So, Aaron has found a smelly old handbag. There's nothing actually in it, and it's definitely been in there a while. So I found myself a petrol tank. That's a small thing, not quite sure what it's off. And also I found this, it's like, like a hammerhead with a chisel tip on the end of it. I don't know whether it's a rock hammer or something, I don't know, not sure. So I've got a lump of cast iron and the remains of a fire grate. And as you can see, Aaron has another bike. Been loads of bikes today. Aaron's got a grapple hook, a tube, and I've got some more barrel straps. He's got a barrel strap, I've got a can, and he's got a shovel, and I've got a screwdriver. More barrel strapping, and a pipe joiner, a pair of pliers, and another bit of tube. So, Aaron's found this tin and it's Meloids, which is, I believe, an old cough sweep from the 30s and 40s. But it's something different. Uh, shame it's not in better condition, but still an interesting find. And I found a shotgun shell just to finish off the day. So it's been an interesting day. It's been really hard work on the Kennet. Um, Matt getting the Evo stuck for three hours, then Terry getting her stuck. It's been a lot of heavy stuff, as you can see. We was hoping to get all the modern day rubbish out of the way, but unfortunately, we didn't succeed because there's just too much in there. There's got to be history in this river, but it's just getting down to it. So as you've seen, the Supporters Club has been started. Um, that should be available on the website soon, which I will post a link to if you want to be joining it. Then you can go on there and order yourself a starter kit. Remember, some of the money from those starter kits will be going to charity. And you can get to feature in one of my videos. You know, if you're out on your own and you want to send a clip in, I will put it on the video. You get yourself on there so all your family can see you're on one of the videos. But it's all good it's going to be fun we're going to have a laugh as you can see these guys are already wearing theirs and what more could i say if you want to be part of the channel and you want to be featured in one of the videos that's all you got to do is get yourself a membership kit and join right we're going to move on we will catch you sunday for the live stream and don't forget subscribe if you haven't and we will catch you on the next one